right, let's check this out here. Cool. Yeah, that's already in really good shape. Um, I'm seeing basically vanilla exercise in your email. I think you are already really far along. What I will probably tweak is more polishy stuff. So I'm not sure if that's okay for you, if that's you know how far we want to go into the shot. But when I look at this with picky eyes, I feel like this section right through this drop into this is a bit too fast. Compared to everything else, there's a slight, and I'm really talking like one or two frames added right there. If you look at the spacing of this, how small that is here, and then suddenly we have that acceleration that will give this a bit of a softer, softer set. If you're going for a vanilla, but also in terms of how the timing is here, the bounciness and just how he moves from here to here. It's extremely picky just because it's already so far along. If I will be pickier, it's it's a bit in terms of the shape language of the silhouette. This is fairly close to the body, giving a little bit of you know a break up here, but when you continue we're really kind of losing information of what is going on here. I like what you have in terms of the contact and everything, but up until, you know, when we get to here with negative space, it's a bit cleaner, but then we're getting into really broken feeling wrist. And also again, with a lot of information with the fingers here, like all that just feels a bit busy. And then watch out, you got a little bit of a wobble in that elbow going in and out. So what you could do is you can exaggerate just that relaxed pose. I mean, it's tricky you've got massive hands. You can also um, scale them down. But it could also be something where we see the structure. I mean, not that he has to you know, have all hands out like that. It could even just be little bit of here so that we see a little bit of forearm and then that hand can just relax down to here even though like that might not be a huge amount of negative space there and then the hand has somewhere to go and even then i will probably bring that shoulder back a bit more again so we have maybe a separation and the hand is maybe more on the side there and there you might i think it's probably too much to bring out that elbow already so it's also some twinning but that would be my picky thought on that. Just because it just feels like we're we're so compressed in all of this, especially here. But at the same time, maybe that's you know your feeling of someone being uncomfortable. I mean, because you say vanilla. And that's like that's that's to me almost a little bit of a shy, you know, uncomfortable pose. And then once you're into here, watch out. There's a lot of movement through there that I would continue to have in the wrist. It feels a bit IK where there's movement through there, but then this is locked and there's not much going on in that wrist section there. And I will probably just take out that forearm. Again, in terms of silhouette, just because we suddenly have this coming that almost aligns with that part of the knuckles, a little bit tangent. And if you just take that out, it would be cleaner. Even like a little tangent through there. So either you break that silhouette with an arm like this, or you bring it closer, kind of, or right in the middle, but it just rides that, that edge there. Again, off the picky notes, this lift here feels a bit soft. I'll probably give this a bit of a sharper, maybe to take two frames out of that, which feels a bit spliny. Spliny soft. And then the chair, there's a couple of things. A, besides intersections here, you're hitting this. The chair just kind of scales down, which I would do a compression where it might pivot off of here and get off the ground more. I'm exaggerating, but you know, you wouldn't pivot this much. But this is a weird scale where we have a squashy chair not super sure about that one but I, I would treat this fairly static 
with you know pivoting maybe off of one side and rotating and lifting one of the legs but i wouldn't do a stretch now i don't mind this but if you have such by this i mean movement in the in the chair but if you have such you know spacing difference here like it really hits that chair Bow. goes back fine but then the next frame it's locked that would need at least one more and a little tiny ease in given that force this feels a bit harsh for that chair to just stop on that frame i do like that you recover but i would just add a little bit in there so it's not so this feels more like there is a wall He's sitting against the wall and it's kind of a let's wait for it Bang. bit of a bounce like that versus there's nothing and you have a bit of a softer give again mainly because how soft the chair is afterwards it feels like it kind of breaks the rule at the very beginning now if you do soften it it might change the amount of impacts you have on that head there maybe this one how sharp it goes back maybe but again these are picky picky notes and i think what's going to help you potentially with a chair moving back a little bit and maybe through that softness of the chair that softness but kind of reaction to it or something giving a bit of a softer impact on that root as well because again you're going pretty far on that sit and then it's that last one bam, and then it's totally locked i know there's like you know it follows the chair a little bit kind of the chair goes down more than the root goes down but it feels like we could have like one more frame of squishy forming into that which will then also soften the spacing of the knees bam, there it is also hit a bit hard you could cheat that potentially by bringing that knee out to his left so then it looks like it would travel a bit more this way same thing with the right one you're gonna have to follow that with the hands as well but that could be that could be something now if you're moving the hands back you could have also a little bit of sideways movement which could result in some spacing change in knee that's extremely picky but just the thought there yeah that's kind of that's kind of that at the beginning the only thing i would say i love seeing the neck and then once we do this we kind of start to lose the neck part which i understand but it could be something where either it could be too much of a cheat but as you turn either bringing down that shoulder and lifting the head a tiny bit i would love to see a little bit of neck through there so it doesn't feel like a block on the line here it's a bit tricky yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that will work. Like, this is always nice. It's just nice seeing the structure, understanding how that head fits on this. I think that's okay. I'm kind of looking at the chest rotation there. But I think it's okay. Moving over. I think it's... It's what I'm reacting to is I understand he looks so the chest follows and also the arm goes back a bit but then I'm also seeing this arm kind of going back where you almost feel like maybe that shoulder wouldn't follow as much like I feel like there's a turn there's a turn but then the arm goes the other way kind of contradicting that like that shoulder would be to me lower more to the right because that arm is going back this I would buy if that if we could see that arm out if that makes sense so I feel like that forward translates is the same as, as this, or whatever, rotate, whatever, however that rate functions. Again, all super picky. I do love that you have a slight squeeze in the hands here, and then relaxation there. Again, I'm just being super picky because this is your first pass. <laughs> your first pass is already so much more, you know, so further along than so many other passes I've seen when I hand out a, to my students at least, a sit-down assignment. Like, this is already so much further along so yeah i'll well, leave it at that picky picky stuff let me know what you think i don't know if you have any eye controls to make like one eye slightly bigger than the other i don't know if there's any control in the cube to give this a slight rotation a line of action in the head stuff like that or even here but maybe bring out that ear more and this ear less just kind of playing around with the silhouette a bit 
but like everything points you know this way the look but then this ear goes yay hey, look at me this way again super picky we're kind of taking away from that default mirrored cube while there are so many different considerations in terms of lines this feels like it needs more controllers i don't know i know i don't know that rig and that's kind of that again it's all super cool picky comments let me know if that's okay if that's what you were hoping or imagining the comments uh to be if that was english and that's it thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you